Today, we'll be taking a look at the drain pump on this LG front load washing machine. Be sure to visit appliancevideo.com where you will find thousands of repair videos on the latest technology. And for a limited time, you can save big on an annual membership and take advantage of all of our premium benefits. Appliancevideo.com. Do it right the first time. Stop. Before beginning any repair, always be sure to disconnect the power to the appliance. It is also recommended to test the outlet for the proper voltage. Remember to also turn off the water. You will need the following tools to complete this repair. To begin, must first remove this top here. Of course, it is held on by two Phillips screws on the back. Next, be very careful. Let's slide this sharp metal off, lift it up, and set it to the side. Next, we will start by taking out the dispenser drawer, press in on the push button, and pull out. Next, you're going to need your screwdriver because we have a couple of Phillips screws that will need to be taken out. So let's start with the two on the front. And then we have this one over here. Let's take that off. Now, the actual display assembly here is held on with little bitty tabs on the top. So what you'll wanna do is you can either use a tack puller or you can use a small flat blade screwdriver. Go between the metal and the piece and start to lift up. And just keep going little bit by little bit. And you can see it will flop forward like that. Once it comes forward, you'll lift it up. You do have one wiring harness inside that will need to be disconnected and set it to the side. Next, down at the bottom, we're going to need to remove this cap. Now when you pop it down, you'll just kind of pry back and forth on these little hinge covers. Slide it off and set it to the side. Next. This has to be removed in order to access a screw so we can take the front off. So let's pop down the strain hose and remove the two Phillips screws that are holding on the plastic here. start to lift up, slide it out, and set it to the side. Now we have access down here to remove this one. So put your Phillips screwdriver in at a slant. Let's get that guy out of here and set it to the side. Next, we'll move up to the door. Go ahead and open it up. And we're going to need to push the seal in and remove the door switch. In order to push the seal in, it is held on by one kind of clamp ring on the bottom. Just use a pair of pliers and peel it off. Then lift up on the bellows and lift it off the ledges so you can slide it inside. I'm going to put my hand inside and just hold the door lock while I remove the two screws. Push it in and just let it hang down. Next, we'll be removing the entire front panel here. When we do this, we are going to remove 
these screws, they're all Phillips screws, and it's kind of held on with almost like a little like a little splinter here. So you'll push down on the metal and then pull out and make sure this door doesn't fly open and lift it up off the frame. So let's start with the screws. I'm going to do majority of them and leave the two in the center. Now let's remove this one. So keep our leg on it and remove this one. You can see it pulls forward. It'll pop under this hook, lift up. You have to kind of pull forward. There is a strain reliever for the door lock in here. Make sure you pull that out and set it to the side. Lift up on the front, and you can set this to the side. Now that we have the front panel removed, we have clear access to our drain pump. Now the main reason why you'd be needing to access this component is if it is not draining. Of course, the first thing you would want to do in this situation is make sure you put some towels down and pull out this filter. This sometimes can get hair or you know any type of residue in there and cause it to not drain. If that is clear and you are not draining. Another thing you can check is to make sure inside this line is clear. Sometimes a sock may get in here. You can pinch it and usually feel something. If that's the case, take it out. If every line is clear and you're still not draining, the chances are you'll need to replace your drain pump. Now, in order to replace the drain pump, there's a couple things we'll need to do. We have two 5 16 screws that are in the front and back, as well as taking these clamps off. So I'm going to start with the clamps. Use a pair of pliers. We'll start with the drain line first. Then let's pull the tub to pump hose off of it. Pull the clamp back, separate it. Now we can get inside and remove these screws. And you can use either a Phillips or a 5 16 since they're kind of stiff, I recommend the 5 16 Alright, let's pull that out. Next, underneath in the back, there's a small locking clip you'll need to press down while pushing forward. Then we can start to lift it up. You will remove the wiring on here by pinching and pulling out. And then let's start to kind of trail it around. And the last thing we have is this one strain reliever here. You will have to lift it up, slide out the wiring. We will slide out the bottom hose and set your pump to the side. When installing your new drain pump, let's push these lines out of the way. Obviously, the first thing we're going to want to do is reinstall your harness on the actual pump itself. So let's slide your wiring under the strain reliever here. It's a little stiff. We'll use something to lift it up. Slide that under and then Let's work our way to the back. And pull it as tight as we can so we can reach the Molex and plug it in. You may have to pull it down and pull it back a little bit so that it fits right. Let's move these hoses out of the way. Now, when you are putting it down on the bottom, you press down and slide forward as such, to lock it back in place. Let's push our hose through the hole here. Then we will reinstall our two screws. So put one in here. Let's 
go ahead and get this floppy monster out of the way. Let's put the second one back here. And tighten it up. This hose right here has a split that will match up with this piece on the pump. So slide it in. Now let's reinstall the hoses and the clamps. Let's reinstall the clamps here. So slide that one on as far back as it can go. Do the same on this one. Now we can reinstall the front panel. When reinstalling your front, the bottom here you can see has little hooks that correspond to slotted area on the front. Then of course we have our strain reliever for our door lock. So let's get the door lock out first. Just kind of lift it up. And then let's pop the front of the unit on the hooks. We are going to put the door lock back inside the strain reliever. This just keeps it from dropping down. And gently pull the unit forward and kind of put it back under that splinter there. Make sure you hold on to it. We'll just get one of our screws here, reattach it. And that should hold it on. Let's reattach your other screws. Now we can reinstall the gasket, door lock, and spring. Now it's come time to reinstall the door lock and the bellow ring. We'll start with the door lock. Reach your hand inside, put it into place, and we will reinstall our screws. Once we have that on there, we'll need to pull the bellow ring out and slide it over the lip here. So just kind of peel back and run your finger across it. Once you have it all the way around, we will reinstall the spring. And in order to do this, we're going to use a small stubby screwdriver and a pair of pliers. I'm going to put the ring in the slotted area around the door seal and get it where it's lined up directly in the middle. I'm going to use a small screwdriver to put it inside the spring hole prop it with my leg, hold on to the spring at the top, start to stretch it over, all the way around, make sure the door closes. Now we can reinstall the screws on the bottom. Back at the bottom, first we are going to install the one Phillips that is holding the front on the frame.
Once we have that in there, let's slide back in our plastic. First, put the hose through the bottom, put it back in place and snap it in. Reinstall our two screws. Then slide your water line back in the holder here. And let's reinstall the front by sliding in the hinges, clip it up. Now we can reinstall the panel. When reinstalling your panel, first we're going to bring it in at an angle. And of course, hook up the Molex that we took out. And then start to line it up and bring it down in the front. And then you'll push down on the front and the top, lock it in place. It will fit across the front and you will not see a huge gap. All the locking tabs are in. Let's reinstall our screws. Slide our drawer back in. Now we can reinstall the top. When reinstalling your top panel, be very careful. We don't want to slice and dice. Let's go ahead and sit it down. You'll want about an inch away from the front. That's where it actually drops down. And then you can slide it forward and it should match up with the front. Let's reinstall the two screws on the back. and this will complete your repair. Thank you for watching another quality video from appliancevideo.com. If you found this video helpful, make sure you click the like and subscribe to our channel.